Hello, this is Lucas Palmeira from Imaginando and I'm here to give you another tutorial on DRC. Today we're gonna do the song called Time by Pashanga Boys. Pashanga Boys is a group made by Rebolledo and Super Pitcher and they're great musicians, both of them, and this project is really nice. The song that we're doing is Time and let's go for it. This will probably be the last tutorial of this year. So let's get right into it and start with an organ sound that will sound like this. Okay. This compressor is only here and you will see more compressors uh, down the, the line, but it's only doing a little bit of side chaining with the kick. So when the kick hits, it dips the sound a little bit. So let's bring this back to the default patch and let's get on with it. So first thing I'm going to do is change the first oscillator to a triangular wave and I'm going to do the same to the second oscillator and the sub oscillator as well. I'm going to raise the octave on the sub oscillator and I'm going to the mod pitch modulation page of the... Um, the synthesizer and I'm gonna raise the first LFO that will modulate oscillator 1 and oscillator 2 to 184. Okay, like this. Just going to hear an LFO 1 and check the, and raise it to 362. Just a little bit, okay, like this. Now let's go to the amplifier, so master at maximum, pre-gain at 5 or 6. That should be okay. Oscillator 1 at 5, 4, 9. Oscillator 2 at 5, 4, uh, 2, 2, 0. Sub oscillator at 6, 8, 7. Ring modulator at 2, 7, 4. Okay, like this. Now let's go to the filter and on the envelope generator to amount. This is the amount of this envelope will modulate the cutoff frequency and we're going to drop it to 383. Drop the cutoff to zero and raise the resonance to 140. Okay. Now let's go to the modulation page. This page modulates the cutoff as well and we're going to drop the keyboard to minimum. This means that the lower the note, the higher the cutoff. Okay? Now, on the first envelope generator, the one that modulates the amplitude, let's attack at zero, decay at zero, sustain at maximum and release at 429. 429. On the second one, which modulates the cutoff, we're going to raise decay to maximum and sustain as well. Release at 100. Perfect. Now let's go for a little bit of reverb and raise the amount to 208. And then let's raise the decay to 795. Okay, we have our organ. So let's now go to this simple bass that we have here, which is this sound. Okay. And bring back to a default patch. And what we're going to do is change the first oscillator to a sine wave. Go to the sub oscillator, raise it and change it to a sine wave as well. And now What we're going to do is raise the sub oscillator to maximum, like this. And envelope generator 2, let's drop it to 150. Cut off, let's drop it to 2 to 4.
resin is at zero. Now for the first env uh, envelope generator, attack at zero, decay sustain at maximum, release at 300. Second envelope generator, attack at 0 0.52. Decay and sustain at maximum. Release at 100. And this was it. Let's get to the next sound, which is the pad. This is the sound. Let's go now to the default patch. Default. Okay, let's get into it. So, oscillator 1 and oscillator 2. We drop oscillator 2 and we fine tune it. Let's first go to the amplifier so you can hear the changes. Master at maximum, pregain 800, oscillator one and oscillator two at maximum, and sub oscillator at 471. Okay, so here on the second oscillator, we're gonna fine tune it to 0 0.56. Okay, and the sub oscillator, we raise it to an octave and change it to a sine wave. Like this. Okay, and now we go to the cutoff filter and we drop it to 828. Okay. And uh, now, what we're going to do is go to the first uh, envelope generator, raise the attack to maximum, uh, decay at 500, sustain at maximum, and release at 854. Okay. Now, on the second envelope generator, attack at zero, decay at 230, sustain at 400 and release at 100 so we have nothing to do here but we go to the reverb and raise the amount to 453 and decay to 753 perfect now Let's go to the last sound, which is this kind of hypnotic sound that we have here. I'm going to turn off these effects and I'm going to explain them later on. So the sound with effects is like this. This is without. And let's go to the default. Okay. So first thing I'm going to do is Master at maximum, pregain at 800, oscillator 1 at maximum, so this is perfect, but envelope generator 2 at 209. Cut off, we drop it to 310. Resonance at 346. And now we go to the modulation page of the cutoff and we raise the velocity to 149. 149. And we go to the VCA and raise the velocity to maximum. On the modulation page, this means that the higher the velocity, the higher the cutoff. And on the VCA means the higher the velocity, the higher the volume it will play. So now let's go to the first envelope generator, attack at zero, decay at 777. Sustain at zero, release at a hundred. Okay. Now on the second envelope generator, <coughs> tech at zero, decay at four, three, five. Okay, like this. Sustain at zero and release at six, three, three. Okay, and this is done. So now we go to the we go here and I'm going to turn off these effects one by one. This equalizer is only giving a little bit of high end. The K7D or tape delay is doing this. It's delayed at 1/16th with 
uh, tape wall effect, a little bit of ping pong, not much stereo. Dry, wet, it's not half, it's a little bit less than half. Low feedback at about 147. But important is that the low pass is here at 200 and uh, 2500 hertz, filtering the, the delay. And then we have our free delay modulator, the Lim, which is giving it a little bit more of whoosh and stereo widening. With time of 337, no feedback, low rate at about 040, depth at middle, and a dry weight of 707. So here we have our sound. And I think this is it. We have everything ready. So let's now listen to the melody that I've recorded before. Bear with me a little while I get this ready for us to listen. Okay, we have everything ready. So, I'm just going to show this so you can see a little bit of automations that I made on this sound. So, let's hear it. This was it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you have you've been having as much fun as I've been having doing these tutorials. And this will be the last tutorial of this year, but it won't be the last tutorial. And we're going to have some nice new content for next year and some new things that we're going to try and organize to give it to you. So we look forward for that. I hope you look forward for that, too. So have a good year and we'll see you next year, guys. So goodbye.